Hi, this is Chris Westfall with the Senior Savings Network with a very important information update for the 2014 Medicare Advantage year, specifically how it deals with Part D drug plans, the catastrophic coverage, and the donut hole. I'm going to zoom in here and show you some figures. For 2014, the donut hole kicks in when you and the insurance company have spent together towards your drug costs $2,850. When all of that totals up to $2,850, that's your deductible, co-payments, premiums, and what the insurance company says that they're paying for that drug, you then enter the donut hole. Now the good thing about 2014 and beyond, all the way up till 2020, is that when you're in the donut hole, it's not as bad as last year. Last year and before, being in the donut hole meant you pay a hundred percent of all the drugs while you're in that donut hole until you reach the catastrophic limit and then there are co-payments again. So you pay co-payments all the way until you hit the donut hole with all the costs added together then when you're in the donut hole you're on your own then when you emerge from the donut hole in the catastrophic area you're again covered with some co-payments. For 2014 the way it works is when you enter the donut hole, now again remember, $2,850 total between you and what the insurance company says that they've paid towards you. That's $120 less than last year, so you're getting in the donut hole now faster than ever before. You're entering it quicker. When you're in the donut hole for 2014, you the senior will have to pay 47.5% of the cost itself. Now this is the real cost, not a discounted cost you're going to pay almost 50 percent of the cost of all brand drugs so again it's not as bad as the hundred percent you would have paid in years before but still you're paying 50 percent of the real cost of the brand name drug as set by the manufacturer on generic drugs you're still paying 79 percent of the cost of that generic drug while you're in the donut hole that can be very very significant with a lot of senior clients that I know now, when you reach $4,700 total out-of-pocket costs, then you reach the catastrophic limit and you go back to some co-payments as specified in your Part D drug plan or in your Medicare Advantage plan. But here's the little secret that most Medicare Advantage agents won't tell you. And it's that part that I said of your costs and the drug company's costs added together that gets you to the donut hole. So for 2014, again, the threshold to enter the donut hole, which is bad, is 2850 That's less than it was last year, meaning you'll get there sooner. But watch this. Just one drug, albuterol, 4 milligram tablet, which is available at Walmart if you just walk up to the counter with a, with a prescription. Get the generic albuterol 4 milligram tab for $4, right? Seems like a great deal. Meanwhile, most seniors are presenting their ID card from their Part D drug plan or from their Medicare Advantage plan for that drug. It's typical, we just show our ID card and they give it to you for your copayment. Here's why you don't want to do that and some considerations if you're using mostly generic or any generic drugs in your prescription list. Now if you're using that out, same albuterol two times a day, anyone at any age, this, this applies to everyone, the big box stores are already giving that to you at a discount. Again, just walk into the counter with no ID card, it's only $4. However, here's how that very same transaction affects you, the senior, if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan or you're using a Part D drug plan. And I'm just going to have some examples here on the screen. If you're on HealthNet, it's a $3 copay. However, then that sounds good. I mean, you're saving a whole dollar, right? If you just walked up to the counter yourself. But $415 goes toward the donut hole on your behalf. So you're getting to that $2,800 quickly. That's just one prescription, and it's a generic. If you're with Aetna, it's a $10 copay. Not so smart to use your Aetna card for that one drug. But if you did, $416 are being added toward your trip to the donut hole it gets worse. With Humana, it's a $10 copay, and yet $593 are headed with you towards the donut hole already. AARP's drug plan, a $9 copay, $335 going toward the donut hole. Anthem, $18 copay, $581 going toward the donut hole. 
And this is just some examples of a quick look at Medicare Advantage plans and how much value they're placing on giving you that discount for that copayment. They're taking your copayment plus their cost, adding them both together, and getting you racing toward that donut hole. Here's the solution. If you already have a discount on a generic drug by going to stores like Walmart, Walgreens, Costco, Sam's Club, find out where you can get that drug, your generic drugs, the cheapest possible straight over the counter price as opposed to using your ID card and use that. I mean at Walmart for instance on this one drug four dollars why would you even want to pay nine, eighteen, five, ten dollars copay using your insurance card when you know not only is the copay a bad deal because you can get it cheaper going straight to the pharmacist but the back end of that is that hundreds and hundreds of dollars are being added towards your trip to the donut hole to get you there faster and you don't even know about it. See, most seniors think that it's just the, the combination of all their co-payments that get them to the donut hole, and that's not true. It's your cost, coupled with the drug company's cost, the insurance company's cost, that gets you to the donut hole faster. So my suggestion to you, and for you agents watching, Find out what your clients are using for their generic drugs and go shop them locally. Shop them from Canada. Shop them from anywhere where you can get them cheaper than actually employing the use of your drug card with your health plan. Because when you use your drug card with your health plan, it's a massive behind the scenes cost that they're adding to you, to your individual cost then, that you don't even pay. It's going to rush you to that donut hole, and then when you're in there, you're going to pay, again, 50% of the cost of brand name drugs for your entire list of drugs. Not just a part of it, but all of your drugs are going to be paid for out of your pocket at 50%. That's your discount, 50% of the whole cost. And then you have to pay 79% of the total cost of generics. So my suggestion is stay away from the donut hole as long as you can. And for your generic drugs, shop locally and don't use your insurance card. Now, if you walk into Walmart and you're a regular customer at Walmart and so forth, they're just going to put you right through your profile, run your insurance card, and say, here you go. So you have to manually tell them, do not use my insurance card for this particular generic drug fill. And if you do that, then the back-end cost, which in some of these cases can be as much as $1,000, just for one generic drug to be filled, that cost will not accumulate on your behalf, taking you to the catastrophic or to the donut hole and ultimately the catastrophic coverage. So stay out of the donut hole as much as you can. Use generic drugs when you can, if your doctor agrees, and just pay the retail price at the biggest box store you can to get the best discount you can. And of course, if you can get a 90 day script, getting 90 days in person is cheaper by far than using and many times these co-payments with the insurance companies so stay out of the donut hole as long as you can and you've got to be aware of these back-end charges that are being added to your cost thrusting you towards the donut hole I hope that little advice will save you some money and keep you out of the donut hole longer for 2014 and beyond I'm Chris Westfall thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye